guys, it's Gom Films, and welcome to my survival guide on how to survive your first concert. So this is gonna be your survival guide, how to, tips to follow on your first BTS concert if you haven't been before. And if you already have, this is an upgraded version on what you should expect that's different from last tour compared to this tour. So really quick run through of this, I'm gonna talk about obviously the tour. So if you don't want any spoilers, I would suggest skipping a couple minutes into the video where I talk about concert bag essentials. I will definitely leave a timestamp right here for you to skip to if you don't want any concert spoilers about the set list or performances. After talking about what to expect from the live performances and how to prepare yourself both physically and mentally, I'll go over the concert bag essentials and how to prepare yourself for that. And then all of that aside, I'll talk about concert etiquette and how you can properly prepare yourself to be a wonderful ARMY friend to all your ARMY concert goers. So this is a packed video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. And if you don't want any spoilers about the set list, about the performances, please skip to the next section of this video where I start talking about concert bag essentials. But for now, let's talk about the performances. All right, Rose Bowl armies. I am so, so proud of you guys for dealing with all that because we didn't know uh, what the set list was gonna be, uh, their concert stage costumes and you know the concert sets and all that. We didn't know any of that. So Rose Bowl armies, I'm glad that you guys survived and thank you for paving the way for the rest of us to physically and mentally prepare for the fantastic performance that BTS will put on on concert night. So, can we talk about <laughs> all the different performances? First, I'd like to talk about Jungkook flying in the air while singing to Euphoria, like... And then can we talk about Jimin's serendipity in the freaking little bubble thing and he popped it and it was the cutest thing ever. And Young singing Singularity in bed, which, ugh, wow, okay, wow. And then we can prepare ourselves for Yoongi literally dancing to Seesaw with a city background looking beautiful and majestic as ever. <laughs> And Namjoon singing Trivia Love with a holographic star that literally looks futuristic. He genuinely looks amazing and the set looks amazing. Everything looks amazing. <laughs> and then Jin singing along to Epiphany with a weird boomerang piano like that also looks futuristic. I can't even like this tour is just amazing so far. But I think the performance that we need to physically prepare ourselves the most for is Hoseok's trivia dance because he literally squirts water at everyone. Okay, that sounds terrible. The whole stage, uh, the whole floor is splashed with water. If you have a phone that is, isn't waterproof or if you have makeup that isn't waterproof or you don't want your clothes to get wet, please be prepared to bring an, <laughs> an umbrella. I can't believe I said that. Please be prepared to bring an umbrella for his performance because you will get wet if you're on the floor. I'm not sure about the upper 100 sections or upwards, but definitely the floor sections if you are on the floor. Be prepared to get a little bit of splash. I mean, honestly, if BTS starts throwing, you know, water bottles, you will get splashed anyway, but for Hostok's performance especially, you will get wet. Honestly, even if you do mentally prepare yourself, you will definitely not be ready at the time. You can watch all the fan cams you want, but during the actual concert, you'll still be just as starstruck as anyone else who hasn't seen the stages yet. Honestly, it's just so magical. It's a magical experience and you'll never be able to 100% prepare for it, besides physically, which in that case, bring an umbrella. <laughs> 
If you wanted to participate in a fan chance, like fan chance for specific songs, I would also look up the set list and just look over the lyrics, watch those YouTube lyrical videos, watch those fan chant videos, and start learning the fan chant if you want to participate. Honestly, if you don't, if you do, it doesn't matter. Everyone's gonna have a good time. Enjoy the concert how you would like it. If you want to do the fan chants, go ahead. If you want to sing along to the lyrics, go ahead. And if you want to just sit there and just nod along to the music because you can't sing in Korean, go ahead because for sure I'm gonna be doing a combination of all three. <laughs> All right, so spoiler part over for the performances. Now let's get into your concert goodie bag. So this is their first stadium tour outside of Korea and we're all really, really super excited for them, but safety definitely comes first. So in this stadium tour, I know it's not for everybody, but I'm pretty sure it's for most stadiums. A clear plastic bag is a must. It doesn't have to be a backpack. It can be a fanny pack or a small purse, I believe, but clear is the way to go. If it's not clear, at least for my date for MetLife, it has to be, I think, less than four by six inches if it's a not clear bag, so it's like a small little clutch handbag. But otherwise, if it's bigger than that size, you definitely need a backpack. Now to avoid all the backpack packing all together, you can go bagless if you can fit a charger and a wallet and your ticket and your phone, uh, your keys maybe if you're driving, if you can fit all of that into your pocket or uh, your pocket of your jacket, honestly, I would suggest going bagless because then you can skip all the merch lines because there's two separate lines, one merch line for bags, one merch line for people with no bags. And if you wanna get that merch, the safest way to go is bagless. But if you like to be prepared like me and you like to bring a backpack to store your water and your charger and your merch once you buy it, here is a short brief list on things to pack for your first concert. So first, like I said before, you're gonna want a clear backpack. I bought mine off Amazon and I'll leave the link here. Um, there's different requirements for each uh, stadium. My stadium, MetLife, it requires a bag that's 12 by six by 12. Um, I'll leave a picture here of MetLife's requirement for a BTS event specifically. Um, I'm not sure what their requirements are for any other event in MetLife, but for the Speak Yourself Tour Saturday and Sunday specifically at MetLife, here are the requirements for that. I would definitely search up the stadium that you're attending, the requirements for the bags and the limitations on what you can and cannot bring into the venue. Honestly, I'm just going to MetLife, so can't really tell you everything uh, about other stadiums, but definitely search it up and don't be afraid to look at their FAQ or send them an email or ask other armies that are going to the same stadium. The number one thing you need to bring is a portable charger. This is gonna save your life throughout the day unless your phone is like massive and can store lots and lots of battery and power. I would honestly bring a portable charger. If you're going with a friend, you can share your portable charger, but if not, I would honestly bring your own just in case because even if you do share with your friends, like mine has two USB ports, you don't wanna be connected with each other and then you, it's just awkward. So uh, bring your own if you can, but if not, share with a friend. The next thing most important from a portable charger is water. So MetLife allows you to bring in water uh, bottles that are less than 20 fluid ounces. A normal plastic water bottle like this is 17 fluid ounces. Normally I would bring my own water bottle, not the plastic one, but the reusable ones, but they don't allow that. So please, please, please do not bring your personal water bottle or else it'll be thrown away and it'll be really sad. So just bring a plastic one that if it does need to be recycled, you won't cry about it because you spent like over 10 bucks on it. So just bring one of these. Um, it can actually be a little bit bigger than this if you want to store more water, but definitely it'll save you like five bucks because at the stadium, I guarantee you this is gonna be way overpriced and there's water fountains there for sure. So you can always refill this up. And I think they allow you to bring more than one. So if you know you get super, super dehydrated super quickly, or you're going to a stadium date that's more in the summer during the warmer months, definitely bring a water bottle. That's the second most important thing. And for some people out there, make sure to pack some effeminate products just in case, even if it isn't that time of the month, just in case for yourself if something happens or for another army out there who happens to have their time of the month unexpectedly during the concert, you definitely wanna have some with you just in case. And obviously the essentials, essentials like your phone, which has your ticket in it if you chose that option. But if you didn't, make sure to print out your ticket and bring it to the venue because <laughs> that would be a disaster if you forgot 
make sure to pack your tickets, please, if you have a physical one. But otherwise, it can be stored in your Apple wallet and your phone. And definitely, obviously, bring your wallet for some money. Even if you're not getting merch, I promise you, you will be getting some food from the stadium if you're staying there for the merch line, especially if you're getting there early for the merch line. But I mean, after the concert or before the concert, you might get hungry and standing up all day like that and plus you might be dehydrated. You definitely need some food in you to have a good time. So be prepared to drop some money on some food. I honestly wouldn't bring any less than 30 bucks because stadium food can be ridiculously overpriced. And if you're driving yourself to the stadium, don't forget to bring your keys, obviously, because how would you get there? But also be prepared to pay a massive price for stadium parking. They're ridiculously expensive. So if you can, I would leave your car at the hotel, uh, if you have one, or park it somewhere near the stadium, but not quite, and then take a shuttle there or an Uber there or walk there or something like that, because stadium parking is ridiculous. And after the concert, everyone's gonna be in a rush to leave. So you'll probably be stuck in traffic anyway, and the safer, faster option would just be go taking a shuttle, walking, or taking a taxi to your car. Which sounds kind of ridiculous, but I swear you're saving money from this. Otherwise, if you're not driving yourself, I would take the train there or have someone drop you off and pick you up because that's honestly the fastest way to get in and out. Um, honestly, it sounds a little bit embarrassing to be like, yes, my parents are dropping me off, but they know what they're doing and they honestly don't have to pay the stadium parking, so safer and cheaper man. And last but not least, definitely not least, uh, I would argue that one of the essentials is in army bomb. Definitely pack your army bomb. If you have a protective case over it, MetLife does allow you to have a separate protective case other than your concert bag. So if your protective case doesn't fit in this bag, it's okay, you can have a separate one. But definitely bring your army bomb if you have one. If you don't, it honestly doesn't even matter. You'll still have such a great time. It just honestly enhances the experience and they'll definitely be sold at the stadium so don't be afraid of it selling out or if it's too late to buy online for your concert now don't be afraid they will sell it at the concert there along with batteries but if you're planning to buy an army bomb there definitely bring your own batteries if you can because they charge a ridiculous amount for batteries there so uh, quick pro tip there but honestly, if you don't have an army bomb, it's totally okay to use your phone light or just have a good time. Don't worry about it. But if you do, don't forget to bring it because it enhances the experiences tenfold. So now that we've listed all the concert bag essentials, let's talk about concert etiquette because you don't want to be that person. So the first rule of thumb I would like to say is have a good time, but also control yourself and be mindful of others. We're all there to have a good time. We're all there to love and enjoy the music, love and enjoy BTS, but remember that there are other people around you and just be conscientious of them and don't be a rude person. The first thing I would like to go over is the army bomb again. We're all super excited to hold the army bombs. We're all super excited to hold it in the air and swing it around. But please, please, please be careful of the people next to you. Um, there's a wrist strap for a reason. So to make sure your army bomb doesn't go flying, put your hand through the wrist strap. It seems like a trivial thing to do, but honestly, it will save your army bomb's life if you fling it too hard. Keep it control, keep it within the range, you know, if anything, go upwards, not outwards. But again, you don't want to be that person that leaves their army bombs way, way high and no one else can take a picture. That's good enough because your army bombs literally always in the way. So just be careful, be mindful of it. Plus, if you swing it too high for too long, your arm's gonna get tired anyway. So keep it controlled, keep it within the range, be mindful of others. And along the same lines, and make sure you know where your phone is pointed to and be aware of how close you are to other people. Be aware if you're sticking your phone into someone else's face or their hair or their arm or if you're pushing them to get your ideal photo of your bias. Please, please, please just treat others with respect and common decency. And I know there's not much personal space around a stadium packed with thousands of people, but give people as much as personal space as you physically can because honestly, there's not much and enjoy it while you can because during the concert there might be a little bit of pushing, a little bit of army bomb action, a little bit of phone action. So just be aware. Again, the whole point of this is just to be aware but also have a good time. This doesn't happen often but it does happen so I thought I'd like to mention that if someone is in your seat when you get there, please, please, please don't make a big deal about it. Don't start yelling at them. Don't start complaining. Just go up to them and ask kindly like, hey, I think you're in my seat. Um, here's my seat number. Just show them your ticket and ask them to move politely. Honestly, these stadiums, um, they're labeled, but it can be a little bit tricky sometimes, especially down at the floor when there aren't 
too many labels of the row and the seat numbers. So just kindly ask, hey, can you please move? This is my seat. And honestly, most armies will be happy, happy to move. If you have trouble finding your seat, just ask the security guard. They'll be happy to help you. Just don't make a big deal about it. It's all good. We're all gonna get our seats. We're all gonna get the view that we want. But please, if you know that you're in the wrong seat and you're in a seat that's different than yours, please, please, please reconsider. Don't do it because it honestly just ruins the concert experience for everyone and you're just offsetting everyone because if you're in one seat and then that person doesn't get to their seat so they choose someone else's seat. It's just, it's a mess for everybody. So please make sure to ask security guards if you're unsure of where your seat is. It seems like a simple thing, but it honestly affects everyone around you. So just ask. Ask. If you want to get there with your choice in merch, make sure to get there at a time that's comfortable for you. Um, honestly, the earlier the better is my opinion, but keep in mind that the earlier you get there for merch, you're potentially sacrificing having a good time throughout the whole rest of the day because you're going to be even more tired, dehydrated, you're going to have to get more food, etc, etc. So just make sure if you want merch to get there early. Um, if not, honestly, merch isn't a big deal. They'll go on sale after the concert tour, or you can buy them from someone else who came to the concert. They're gonna be a little bit more expensive than what they're selling for at the venue, but again, it's up to you. It's up to what you want and what you're comfortable with. And the last thing I would like to stress is check your stadium's FAQ page on what you can and cannot bring into the stadium. You don't want to be in a situation where you buy all this stuff to prepare and then you bring it in and then security checks it and tells you you have to throw most of it away because it's such a waste of money and time and it hurts my heart and it hurts other people's heart to see all this stuff thrown away, especially freebies and things like that. Just check your stadium's FAQ page, check their Twitter page, Facebook page, their website page, whatever you need to do, just make sure you know know what's allowed and what's not allowed. And along those lines, please, 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 I'm speaking for on behalf of everyone there and everyone who will ever be a concert goer and security in general, please, please, please just do not under any circumstance, bring in a poster. Please, please, please. You're just blocking everyone else's view and it's such a hassle to hold. And plus, if you have an army bomb already, that's even more of a hassle to hold. And a phone too, like, that's just too many things to bring in. And a poster is just really large and obnoxious and you're blocking most people's views. The biggest poster that you should be bringing in is a banner like this, which you will get at the concert. You will get your own cute little banner thing. But if you bought your own from a fan site with your bias on it, you can bring that in but nothing should be bigger than this size um, honestly you're just blocking everyone else's view if you bring in a poster bigger than this but again keep in mind you will be getting one of these I got these at the city field concert and there's still tape on it because it fell off my wall <laughs> but everyone during the encore they'll be holding this up so you won't be alone and it'll look really cute and really fun um, so this is the largest thing you should be bringing in please do not bring any large posters if anything you can bring in fans or things like that but Please. And since you're gonna be standing around all day, you're gonna be walking around all day, please, please, please wear some shoes that are comfortable. I know for us short people, especially short people who have floor seats, it's pretty hard to find comfortable shoes that are also really tall so that you can <laughs> help yourself because I'm five foot and that is less than average. So I really can't see anything otherwise, but I'm wearing my docks which have like four inch platforms, but they're also really comfortable. So make sure you know what your feet are comfortable with you're gonna be standing minimum absolute minimum for three hours but be prepared to stand for five to seven hours honestly it's gonna be quite a long concert the concert itself is three hours but uh, adding in times that you're going around the stadium adding times that you're waiting in the merch line and waiting for food and walking around the stadium in general please 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 be prepared to walk a lot if it does happen to rain on your concert day be sure to pack a small umbrella or poncho in your concert bag if you're not afraid of getting wet or things like that, honestly, that doesn't matter. But if it is going to rain, which I don't think it will because BTS is a blessing to the weather wherever they go, <laughs> be sure to pack a small umbrella or a poncho. And this isn't so much concert etiquette as it is for your own comfort, but for me, I have a habit of locking my knees when I stand in one place for a long time. So that really cuts off the circulation to your feet, if you didn't know. So please, if you catch yourself locking your knees, just bend them and, I mean, you can't see my knees right now, but just bend them um, every once in a while or keep them bent as you're standing. If you're gonna be standing up and jumping along to songs, that shouldn't be a problem, but if you're standing still for a long period of time, 
Most people have a tendency to lock their knees in place. Make sure you don't do that because if you do that for a long period of time and you're dehydrated and you're hungry, you will faint and you will drop. So please, please, please just keep in mind, don't lock your knees. It's a small and simple task, but honestly, it'll save your life. I just took my camera off my tripod, so really quickly on this, make sure before the concert to clear out your phone, especially if you have storage problems, because honestly, I've been in the position where <laughs> I'm trying to record something and it says out of storage. We've all been in that position. So please, please, please just make sure to clear your phone. Otherwise, don't be deleting family photos and apps then. While you're waiting for the concert, it'd be nice to delete uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, etc, etc, all the apps that you don't want to use. Or even before the concert, if you want to prepare for this, delete all the apps and photos that you know you won't need to clear up storage. And make sure to keep those photos somewhere safe because you don't want to be deleting photos during the concert in a frenzy while Nam June is singing Trivia Love or something. So that is my crash course on concert essentials. I hope this helps anyone who goes to their first concert. I hope you have so much fun. This concert is literally going to be so much fun. This whole tour is already so much fun. Just have a good time, be respectful of others, and also prepare yourself so you can have a comfortable day of fun with BTS. If you want a more in-depth guide, please let me know. I'll be happy to make a part two of this. I would like to say that I'm a seasoned concert goer, so I know what to do and what not to do. And I'd be happy to tell you as well. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I make a wide range of videos like bullet journaling, vlogs, montages, tutorials. Go check out my other videos. I'm so, so excited to go to this tour. So if you see me, please don't be afraid to say hi. I'm going MetLife day two. No matter where you sit in the stadium or how far you come from or your nationality or your age or things like that just remember to have a good time have a good night you paid good money for this and you deserve to enjoy the show just as much as anyone else thank you guys again so much for watching i'll see you on the next video bye